In this video, we're going to do another question on complex transformations. We're told the transformation t from the z-plane where z is equal to x plus iy to the w-plane where w is equal to u plus iv is given by w is equal to 1 over z plus i where z does not equal negative i. In part a, we need to show that the image under t of the real axis in the z-plane is the circle c1 in the w-plane and then we're asked to find the equation of c1. So if we've got now on the, uh, the z-plane the real axis, that means that y is going to be equal to 0. So we're going to start off here and we're going to say w is equal to 1 over z plus i. I'm going to now make z the subject. So multiplying both sides by the denominator, z plus i, and dividing both sides by w is going to be 1 over w. Subtracting i from both sides, z will be equal to 1 over w minus i. At this stage, I'm going to write w in terms of u and v. So we can say z is equal to 1 over u plus iv. And then we're going to have minus the i. At this stage, I'm going to realize the denominator of a fraction right here. So multiplying by the complex conjugate, we're going to have 1 over u plus iv multiplied now by u minus iv. And we'll multiply the top of a fraction by u minus iv. And then, of course, we have our minus i. If I now tidy this up, what we'll have is z is equal to u minus iv over now u squared plus v squared. And then I've got my minus i. I'm going to get a common denominator now. So z is going to be equal to u minus iv. And then we're going to have minus i multiplied by the quantity u squared plus v squared. And that's now all over u squared plus v squared. If we now write z as x plus iy, x plus iy, and then what we'll do is just split this up. So if we look at the real parts, we're going to have u, so we're going to have u, and then that'll be over u squared plus v squared. And then looking at the imaginary parts, we're going to have now minus v, and then we're going to have minus u squared minus v squared over the common denominator of u squared plus v squared. We know y is equal to 0, therefore what we're going to say then is the top of this fraction will be equal to 0. So 0 will be equal to minus v minus u squared minus v squared. Just rearranging, we can now say the following. We can say u squared plus v squared plus v is equal to 0. Completing the square, what we're going to have is u squared plus v plus 1 half all squared minus one quarter is equal to zero. So we can write this now as u squared plus v plus one half all squared is equal to one quarter. That's going to give us a circle. So C1, what we're going to have then is the center at zero comma minus one half. And then we're going to have a radius of a square root of a quarter. So the uh, radius is going to be equal to one half. Okay, so that's that one done. So that's our circle, our circle C1. OK, in the next part, we need to show that the image under T of the line x equals 4 in the z-plane is a circle C2 in the w-plane. And we're asked to find the equation of C2. So this time, what we've got then is the line x is equal to 4. So what we're going to do is exactly the same. When we come down here, we've got this point right here. So what we can do at this stage now is pick it up. Obviously, if you're in an exam, you would do something slightly different. But what we can say now is x is equal to 4. So considering from this point right here, what we can do is the following. We can say 4 is going to be equal to u over u squared plus v squared. So multiplying both sides by the denominator, what we're going to have then is 4u squared plus 4v squared is equal to u. So dividing through by 4 and bringing the u to the left hand side, what we'll have now is u squared plus v squared minus u over 4 is equal to 0. Completing the square, we'll have u minus now, and we're going to have 1 over 8. We're taking half the coefficient here. We will square that out, and we'll have minus 1 over 64 plus v squared is equal to 0. So u minus 1 over 8 all squared plus v squared is equal to 1 over 64. So from this, we can see that we've got another circle. So this is going to be C2. We're going to have the center at 1 over 8, 0. And then we're going to have a radius of a square root now of 1 over 64. And that's going to give us 1 over 8. So I've kind of um, 
jumped into the second question based on the work that we've done in the first question. Quite clearly, in an exam, if you were given the two, just work through it. But all I've done is picked it up at this point. I've expressed Z in terms of X and Y, and then all I've done is split those fractions up. So we can see at this stage, the real parts here are U over U squared plus V squared, and the imaginary parts are minus V minus U squared minus V squared, all over U squared plus V squared. In the first one, we wanted now the... Um, the real axis, so that meant y is equal to 0, and then in the second part we wanted the line x is equal to 4, so we simply set x equal to 4 and then solve for our circle. So this one was, uh, this was C2, wasn't it? This was circle 2. So there we go, all done.